What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender modifier tutorial for you today. So in today's video we're going to talk about the wireframe modifier and how you can use it in order to take objects and actually create wires around the different edges contained inside of those objects. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so this modifier basically takes a mesh and it turns it into a wireframe. So it takes all of the edges and turns them into four-sided polygons. So you can do interesting things with this light like creating, well, a wireframe effect, um, as well as other things inside your model. So I will link to the documentation about the wireframe modifier in the notes down below. But let's take a look at what this does. So what we're gonna do is let's start off with a simple shape like this cube. And so we're just gonna go over into the modifiers settings, we're going to click on the button for add modifier right here. What that's going to allow us to do is that creates a wireframe anywhere where there are edges inside of this cube. So if you look at this, right, it's creating four-sided edges or four-sided uh, shapes at any of those edges. And so you can adjust these to get different effects. So for example, you can click and drag this in order to adjust the thickness of that cube. So notice how the wires get a different thickness depending on what you set this to. So you can use this to really quickly add those wires. Notice how if we tab into edit mode, and I'm just gonna do a control R, scroll my mouse up to add a couple edge loops here, and a couple edge loops here. Well now if we tab back, notice how we're getting a wireframe wherever those additional edges go. And so this is gonna add those wires wherever I add the edges to these faces. So now if I tab back into object mode, you can see how I have wires all the way around here. Now one thing to note about this is this only works when you have faces. So for example, if I was to tab into edit mode and I was to extrude a vertex like this and like this and then tab back into object mode, notice how I'm not getting any wireframes over there. But if I was to take these edges and extrude them, like this, notice how now I am getting wires over here. So that's kind of a limitation of the way that this works. And so this will work on other kinds of shapes as well. So for example, on this cylinder, I can use this to add a wireframe as well. And so if we look at this, you can also use this to set if this has an inside or outside offset. So basically what this is gonna do is if you leave it on zero, it's basically gonna create those wires from the center of the edges. However, if you adjust the offset, it'll create them either on the inside or the outside of those original edges. So if we apply this to this gemstone object or this diamond object, you can see how that's going to do the same thing. Now one thing that's interesting is there's also an option over here for replace original that's checked. So what that means is that means, let's say that I was to apply this modifier to my Bonnie model like this. Well, notice how right now with my Bonnie modifier, it's replacing the Bonnie geometry with these edges. But if you were to uncheck the box for replace original and then look at this, well, notice how now what that's doing is that's applying the wireframe modifier to those edges while keeping that original Bonnie model in place. So you can use this in order to add things like outlines in here as well really quickly. And so notice how if we look at this model right now, I'm getting an extra edge in here that I don't really want. And so the reason I'm getting that is because this box for even is checked. And so what this is trying to do right now is it's trying to maintain the thickness all the way around here by adjusting for sharp corners. But something down here just isn't really doing what it's supposed to do. However, if we uncheck the box for even, right here. Notice how the effect in here was slightly different, but I'm not getting that overlap in here anymore. So the even setting isn't really forcing it um, to create that extra geometry here anymore. And so one cool thing that you can do with this is you can couple it with a subdivision surface modifier to get different effects. So let's say for example, that we were to take this modifier. Let's say that we were to add a subdivision surface modifier after this. Well, notice what that's doing is that's coming in here and that's subdividing the wireframe that's contained in here. So it's taking those wires and it's subdividing them in order to create that effect. And so when the level's set to one, 
it's not really that interesting, but if you bring that level up a little bit more, notice how you can use this to add kind of a organic mesh on the outside of your objects really quickly. So you can also adjust this and you're gonna get a different result depending on how thick these edges are. And so you can also crease your edges. So if you crease your edges, notice how if I set these to crease, it's the same thing as coming in here, selecting an edge and right clicking on it and clicking edge crease. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna set this so the subdivision surface modifier isn't going to be able to actually subdivide those. But you could also set this to something like 0.5 or something like that, well notice how if you set it to 0.5, you are getting some subdivision in here, but not as much as if this was set to zero. So you can use this to adjust the amount of crease that's in here. And so right now, the material that's being applied in here is being applied based on the materials that were in your mesh. However, if you decide that you want this to have like a single color associated with it, you can adjust the color offset or the material offset. So you can use that in order to adjust the material that's being applied in here. And so one other thing you can do, which can really kind of let you dial this in, is you can use vertex groups in order to set where this wireframe is placed. So let's say for example that I only wanted this wireframe to be placed on the Bonnie model's legs. What we could do is we could tab in edit mode right here and we're gonna start selecting vertices. And I'm gonna go into wireframe mode for a minute. And so we'll just select the leg and tail vertices. Well now, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go back into material preview mode, but I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add a vertex group, and we're gonna call that legs. So we can just double click in here, call this legs, and then we're gonna assign the vertex groups right here. So now, if I was to deselect, and then select, notice how these vertices get selected. So now, let's jump over into weight paint mode real quick. And so if I jump over into weight paint mode, you can see how these have a red weight associated with them. And I'm gonna go ahead and set everything else to have a weight of zero. So I'm just gonna adjust this in here real quick. Well now if we jump back into object mode, and for now I'm gonna turn off the subdivision surface modifier. But what I wanna do is I wanna feed this that legs vertex group. Well, notice how with that legs vertex group, what that's doing is that's now only creating this wireframe at that vertex group. And you can adjust the size of this, but you can use this to really quickly add a wireframe to only certain points inside your model. So let's say that we wanted to add another vertex group. So we'll tab over here, go to top down view, Let's say you wanted to add some wireframes right here. Well, you could just create another vertex group. Call that back. We're gonna assign it. Then I'll tab back into object mode. I'm just gonna add another wireframe modifier right here. And so for that wireframe modifier, we're gonna set the vertex group on that one to the back. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna create wires right in here. So overall, this is a really fast way to start adding that wire detail inside of your model without having to go in and add a whole bunch of extra geometry. The cool thing about this is this will adjust with your model when you make changes because it is applied as a part of a modifier. So leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you been using this modifier? Did you know it was there? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.